What's going on you guys? Welcome to another episode. I am out in the mountains right now on a solo mission to head out to the property to do a few improvements there. We'll do maybe a little bit of fishing. Uh, we'll maybe do some hunting. There's not really a plan at all besides just kind of kicking it together. Uh, I had promised you guys some updates on the property for a while and we just haven't done that. I'm out in the mountains right now. As you can see, winter has definitely arrived in the Pacific Northwest. So we needed to, on the way, just stop by here to get a few sticks. I need like some large, strong, straight sticks. Check this guy out right here. This is what I'm talking about. That's what we need. I need, uh, let's see if we can maybe get like three to five of them. Uh, don't need to take a whole bunch of them, but we just need a few to do some mods around the fire pit. I want to be able to cook over it. So I'm going to try and make like a triangular stand for like Dutch ovens and cast irons and stuff. I never know which side is the saw. Come on. There we go. <laughs> little pocket saw. Number one. Now we just need two more. When you guys are trying to cut something, give the tree a little bit of tension away from your cut and it'll make your cutting a lot quicker, a lot easier. It'll just break those fibers a lot better and make sure that you're not binding up your saw. There we go. Timber. All right, these four sticks here should do just fine. Let's get back to the van and head on east. I guess you guys are coming along too. <laughs> All right, we got our supplies. Now the next stop is gonna be the desert compound. It's quite a drive out there, so we'll probably get there in the dark, but that's all right, nothing we can do about it. I'm super excited to take you guys uh, back to the land. It's been a long time since we've been out there and uh, I just promised you guys to do some more videos out of the land, give you guys some updates. And uh, in the last video, I asked you also if you guys wanted to see some winter survival videos. The snow that you see right now is just the beginning. It's going to get a lot snowier up here. So we're going to wait for it to get really cold, really snowy, and then we'll do some winter bushcraft and survival videos. But first things first, let's get out to the NWFS Desert Compound. Let's go. Woo! Oh, man. We have officially arrived at the property. It's freezing cold here though. Like seriously, it's actually freezing. Everything has frost on it. It's beautiful though. The moon is out. 
behind me. I don't know if you can see it on the screen. It's that little, little dot right there. That's the moon. So if you guys are brand new to the channel or maybe missed the episodes explaining what this land is, uh, essentially last year I bought a giant piece of land. The only thing really that I've done so far on the land is just bring, bring out a few basic supplies as well as build a fire pit right there. We've got a little bit of fire wood left over from the last trip out. And I know, I know, I know, I know the van's a total mess right now. It's a disaster. I hear you. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> It is a disaster. I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Now, something that I've been working on on the van is finally trimming out the step right here. That's been just like an ongoing project that I have not finished, but finally she's done. Uh, so let's go ahead and just get this mess cleaned out. And then we're going to start a fire and we're going to cook some food. That sounds really, oh yeah. Dude, food sounds amazing right now. I'm actually really hungry. Also, up on top of the van, a big uh, roof cargo container full of firewood. And then I also brought this big box full of firewood right here. The goal is that every time I come out, I'm bringing more firewood that I'm gonna need. Uh, that way I can just start building a big stash of firewood out here for future trips. There we go. All right, firewood, you come to the fire pit. Come on. Right, now tell me, is, is that cheating, starting a fire like that? I know I'm gonna get crap for that, but oh well. Ooh, look at this. And then a bunch of veggies, mushrooms, and just $5. bit of Meyer lemon infused olive oil. So I'll throw in some mushrooms as well. I think mushrooms would be really good. Maybe a few peppers, a couple of carrots, and some peas. A little bit of everything. It's a veggie party in here. Our water is boiling, that means it's ready for some mashed potatoes. Ooh man, some hot steamy mashed potatoes. Oh, it's so hot. Now, I did not bring tons of spices with me. The only thing I have here is just a little bit of some salt. I did not salt the vegetables at all. So we're just gonna salt the steak nicely.
We're gonna give that just another, maybe another minute and uh, throw that baby on top of those vegetables. Ooh, steak's on fire, steak's on fire. Don't wanna overcook this baby. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Ooh. Right, let's take a look at the steak here. Just a little bit of pink in the middle. Mm. This right now is so good. <laughs> and with the onions and the peppers. Mm. Oh man. Container is leaking out the bottom. I just dump it all into the mashed potatoes here. That's so cool. I'm hearing coyotes howling all over the place. Have you guys ever heard wild coyotes? Like, I know like everyone's watching from all sorts of different countries. I'm curious, like what kind of animals do you guys have where, where you live? You know, like do you have bears? Do you have like tigers and like what kind of weird predatory animals do you have? In my area, we've got, um, I guess coyotes would be, you know, kind of at the bottom. They're dangerous towards like maybe little children or, or pets. Uh, we have, um, yeah, some black bears. We do have some grizzly bears in Washington, not a whole lot of them. We do have wolves. We have uh, mountain lions. That, that's probably like the scariest thing that we have here is the mountain lions. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just curious, like, what kind of stuff do you guys have, like cool animals, you know, in your area? I'm always curious to learn from you guys. So what I'm thinking we do tomorrow morning is just get up super early and head out to a good fishing spot that I know. And we'll try and catch one or two like really nice sized trout out there that we can cook up tomorrow for lunch or dinner. And then we'll work on camp tomorrow. I'm just gonna chill out the fire a little bit. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. Oh! Ah, oh, it was cold last night. Man, it's beautiful though. Out. Can't wait to get out there, get started with the day. We had the, uh, check this out, we had the Mr. Buddy running last night, keeping us warm. So it's actually pretty nice inside here, but definitely freezing outside. We're gonna make some coffee now. It's gonna be amazing. We're gonna go fishing today. That's gonna be even more amazing. And uh, we gotta build some stuff. We gotta build some stuff around camp, a little bit of crafting time. Let's get going. The one thing about the van that I do wish is that we're just a little, little taller. I'm six one, so it's a little. I'll just live for the rest of my life with like a hunchback or something from this. It's gonna be great. Tanzania peaberry. <laughs> Wow, I just poured boiling hot water on my hand. Oh, there we go. A little cheddar bratwurst for breakfast. Got a couple of eggs. Look at that. No, the peel. Oh, so many egg peels. The shells. That's right, I'm a professional. So this morning I woke up to a few of you, specifically Caden and Orion, that just notified me both via email and an Instagram that there's someone impersonating us on TikTok. <laughs> so Fishing Secrets NW on TikTok, Th that's not me. I, I do actually have a TikTok that I started like one or two years ago, but I never use it. And it's just NW Fishing Secrets. So I guess we have a fan page on TikTok. Just letting you know, that's not me posting on TikTok. We're gonna throw in a little bit of cheese. Oh my goodness, said a little bit. Seal that again. We'll need a little bit of this for, uh, if we catch some fish later, we're gonna make some tacos and it's gonna be delicious. We're gonna get a little scoop of 
scoop of a little bit of everything. A little bit of egg white, egg yolk, some cheese, some sausage. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. Flush it down with a little coffee. All right, we're ready to fish now. We're ready to explore. We're ready to build fire pit pot thing. Now, a lot of you guys ask me, how do I power like all my stuff in the van uh, from drone batteries to GoPro batteries, laptop. Uh, for the last year, I've actually been using a Jackery uh, Explorer 1000, but the fine people at Jackery did just hook me up with their brand new unit, the uh, Jackery Explorer 1500. This thing is an absolute beast of a power machine. So we're gonna uh, be using this out there right now to chop some wood. So that's right, thank you to Jackery for sponsoring today's video. Uh, if you guys have never heard about what a solar generator uh, is, basically you use your solar panels to suck up the energy from the sun, which is kind of non-existent today, but we'll see what we can get out of the cloudy sky and harness that energy inside of a huge battery pack. It's a 1500 watt hour battery bank in this Jackery 1500. And from there, you can power devices like you've got your USB-C, a regular USB, a fast charge USB, um, a car socket like that. And uh, like I said, you can power literally one 10 volt appliances off of there. That's why I can charge my laptop. Uh, you could run a fridge and uh, we're gonna be powering this baby right here, a 110, and this thing is a power hog right there. So we're gonna put this thing to the test. It comes with a regular AC wall charger unit, a car charger unit, so you can charge it in your cigarette port in your car while you're driving. And then it comes with these two connectors right here that you can use to connect all four of your solar panels and then plug them in uh, to these guys right here. All right, she's plugged in. There we go. <laughs> All right. Yeah, baby. Easy peasy. All right, six feet is right there. Jackery will be having an amazing sale actually here for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. I'll have all of the details and the links in the video description below. You can also go to jackery.com. So again, I want to say thank you to Jackery for sponsoring today's video and hooking us up with this beast of a power station. Oh, I absolutely love it. Now let's get back to building our stuff. I've never built one of these before, but I'm guessing that they just kind of stand and interlock up there in the center. go. So I figured what we'll just do now is tie the tops together with some paracord. <laughs> I'm sure that's how that works. We should be able to hang like Dutch ovens and stuff like that to be able to cook over the fire. Tell you what, I really wanted to go fishing though real fast. So let's go ahead and just, I'm going to clean up the tools. We're going to let the jack recharge real fast while we're gone. And uh, we'll only be gone for a couple hours. It's not supposed to rain or anything. And then we'll be back here and we'll build all our stuff. But all right, let's go. Let's go fishing. sun right now sets at about just right after 4 p.m. or something so uh, yeah days are really short so we got to hustle a little bit um, to get back to the property before it gets dark oh, we got a bullet lure 
Look at this little baby right here. This should do just fine for this creek. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. So this here in front of us is definitely the strike zone right up there in the slower water. Uh, we're gonna kind of cast across and then we're just gonna let the bullet lure drift down with the current and hopefully get it down deep to where the, the trout are sitting. Cast it right there. First cast. And she's spinning, she's spinning. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, fine, nothing on the first. Tell you what, we got it cast, I think, a little further out there. There we go. And then just bring it right into the strike. Oh, I just saw a little fish jump. There was definitely a little trout that jumped, just a small guy, definitely don't want to catch him. We want a big one. Oh, there we go, fish on, fish on. We got one. Oh, oh, fighter, decent fighter. Oh, no. Wait a second. No, there is a fish on there. I know there is a fish on there. That was definitely a bite. <laughs> oh, had a bite, had a bite. Little bite. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, he's off, he's off. All right, we're gonna go down the creek a little bit. Man, I'm actually seeing, I'm seeing trout jumping right here. <laughs> it's a super steep bank though here. I don't know how we're gonna land a fish if we do get one. See right there, right there, right there. Oh yeah, I see the fish swimming underwater. The water's so clear. Ah, oh, it's just a little guy though. Just a little guy, but maybe it's a good holding area and there could be some bigger ones too. All right, goal number one is to not fall in the water. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna stay right here. Oh, there we go, fish. That's a fish on. <laughs> oh, little guy, little guy. Come here, baby. Come here, come here, come here. Through the bushes. Oh my God. Oh, 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 oh. New species, new species. Oh, oh, oh it's a tiger trout. Dude, it's a tiger trout. I've, ne I've never caught one before. Unreal. We're gonna release this little dude, but I wanna wet my hand first before uh, handling him so we don't injure him. Here, we're gonna wet the net. There we go, get the water all over my hand. Oh, how cool. Look at that little guy, he's beautiful. He's got a, like, a little bit of a yellow belly, beautiful tiger patterns. Let's get this guy right back in the water. What a beautiful fish. There he goes, and he swam off healthy. Oh, let's go, man. New trout species. I've never caught a, tri a tiger trout. Oh, that's awesome. Dude, like, I don't care if that was a small fish, man. That That's so cool. Oh, there we go, fish on. <laughs> oh man, you spinning around, little fighter? That looks more like a rainbow. Yeah, this guy's way more silvery. Little tiny rainbow. Come over here, buddy, we'll let you go. We'll let you go, don't even worry about it. Not even gonna net this guy. <laughs> Look at that, beautiful little, little tiny rainbow, barely hooked, just on the lip. There we go, he's back in the water. Didn't even need to touch him. Wow, that's awesome. All right, let's go ahead and keep moving down this river here. See what else we can catch. So I just noticed here next to the van, there's definitely uh, coyote tracks right here. Check this out. I'll get a close up of them for you. We're gonna 
to sneak in from above. Whoa, 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 whoa! Wow, I thought I was going through all the way down to the center of the earth there. Well, so much for sneaking. Nice, nice shore here. So what, we're gonna try uh, one cast upstream. Oh, whoa, there we go, fish on right away. Unbelievable, whoa, 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 whoa. Not even a bad one, not a bad one. Wow, yeah, you know, he's kind of small, he's kind of small. Beautiful fish though, wow, he came on right away. Ah, oh, that's not a bad, I don't know, that's not a horrible fish, dude. That's, you know what? We're gonna keep this guy, that's not a bad fish. <laughs> that's not a bad fish at all. All right, probably about a, that's about a 10 incher, something like that. Absolutely beautiful, wow, look at that. Well, geez, what if there's a monster though that lurks down here? Yeah, let's go ahead and sneak. Let's sneak this way. I'm feeling it right there. Come on. Oh, there we go, fish on! <laughs> oh, he came off, he came off. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Not a giant, he was eh, a little smaller than the, the one that we kept here. Ooh, I have a good feeling about this cast. Very, very good feeling. This one's right in the juice of this hole. Oh, oh there's a tap. There's a tap. Oh, there's another tap. Double. Oh, there is the fish on. Fish on. Oh, jumper. And he came off. He came off. My goodness. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Ah, oh, let's go. All right. All right, let's do this again. Let's do this again. We got to keep our composture. A silent, calm composture. Here we go. Or is it composition? I don't know. Yeah, let's try another cast upstream. Since that's the only one that we ended up catching. Oh, there you go, fish on. Oh, big one, big one. He's a giant, it's a giant, it's a giant, it's a giant. That's a giant trout. We're gonna chase him upstream. Oh, it's a giant. That's a huge giant trout. Ooh. Oh, oh, baby, yes. Oh. Come on, oh. oh, oh, he's gonna spool us. He, he's gonna spool, we might need to chase this fish upstream. Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 I can start seeing the bottom of the spool. We might have to chase this fish. This is ridiculous. Come on, come on, come on. All right, come on, we can gain on him. We can, oh, oh, Joe. Oh, <laughs> what is this? I only saw him really briefly. It looks like a giant rainbow. Oh, he might have wrapped in something, guys. Oh, no, he's going back out to the middle. Come on. All right, we're gaining on him. We're gaining on him, but he's not done yet. He is not done. Looked like a giant silvery rainbow trout. I'm shaking. <laughs> I'm literally shaking right now, man. it has been a long time since I've hooked a big trout. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, okay. We're gonna keep the tip low. That way he doesn't know as much what's going on. Oh, he's... Oh my goodness, that's a giant, beautiful, beautiful rainbow trout. Oh, we've got four pound test here too. Very, very light line. So we cannot horse this fish whatsoever oh my goodness look at this monster oh 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 come on come here baby come here come here come here come here oh my goodness oh my goodness look at this monster oh it's a monster 
Oh, he's barely hooked too. Barely hooked. Oh, holy cow. Okay, this is the fish we were looking for, guys. Wow, barely hooked in the corner, but, but hooked well. Hooked well for sure. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous trout. Barely fits in the net. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, we just put this beautiful, beautiful fish just out of his misery, just wanna make sure we are gonna eat him. Uh, so I just wanna make sure that it doesn't suffer. We're only gonna keep what we can actually eat, clean him up, measure him, see how big he is, get a fire started and cook this baby up. So thank you, buddy, for providing us with a delicious meal. We gotta get a fire started here really fast. We don't have that much daylight left. All the small pieces first. Now all of my wood that I brought has varying dryness, so we're gonna start the fire with the driest pieces first. And then later, once your fire is going hot, then you can add wet wood. It doesn't really matter anymore. it whatever you got tiny little dry pieces of kindling that's what that fire wants right in the beginning there we go all right so then the top of those sticks right there we're just going to tie together with just some paracord uh no i'm not intending on letting flames go that high <laughs> so i don't think we're going to burn it Now we should be able to just kind of position this right over the fire. So that the center is right there. Dude, that fire feels so good. Okay, so we've got our cleaned out trout right here. As you can see, the meat on this trout here is absolutely beautiful. It's nice. She's like orange pinkish. We're just gonna take a filet off of them right now and uh, throw that baby in the pan. Man, look at that colored meat. Look at that beautiful, beautiful red meat on that trout right there. Man, that's, that's gonna give us a substantial meal, a lot of energy, and then we'll take the rest home. It'll keep me fed for multiple days. Whew. Thank you, buddy, for, for feeding us here tonight. All right, so we've got our Dutch oven then here, and I just ran the chain through the handles. Not sure if that's exactly how it works. We'll probably get a better setup going at one point. There we go, and this whole system here is now adjustable. All right, so we've got our little, little trout here as well. We're just gonna skewer this guy up, clean him out already. There we go. <laughs> we got our little, the little trout. All we're gonna season them with is a little bit of, a little bit of Danish sea salt, of course. A little bit on the inside. A little bit of salt on the outside. There we go. That's it. So we're gonna put them right over there. Also, we have a lot more property upgrades to do. I'll be out here again very soon, and then we'll build some more stuff. We'll build a temporary shelter as well, and we'll do some bushcrafting and survival videos out on my land. I know in this episode, we didn't really go see a whole lot on the land. We also need to check our trail cameras. We'll do that in another episode as well. So make sure that if you guys aren't already subscribed, uh, feel free to subscribe. That way you guys don't miss those new episodes when they come out. Oh man, look at this fish. He's already, oh, he's beautiful. He's getting some beautiful color. All right, in the Dutch oven. We're gonna throw just a big chunk of butter. Get that baby in there so that can start melting. Throw in this beautiful, beautiful piece of trout. 
and we're gonna go skin side down first, that way it can get nice and crispy. Ooh. Listen to that. Oh yeah. Whoa! <laughs> I thought it was all coming down, it just, it just adjusted a little bit. Ooh. Of course, we're just gonna throw a little bit of Danish sea salt in here as well. Ooh, yeah. So one thing I realized we never did is measure this big trout. He's right up here on the wood pile. I mean, it's on the dot 20 inches with the, the tail spread, so we'll call him a 20 inch rainbow trout. I wanna say, I'd have to double check, but that might be my PB. That's definitely, that, that's definitely one to beat. All right, and while we wait for the Dutch oven to fish and finish cooking, didn't really burn the skin at all this time. In fact, it actually looks pretty good. We're gonna, we're gonna eat this baby. Mm. Ooh, smoky, nice and smoky, dude, but juicy on the inside. Mm. This guy turned out really good. Now on a small trout like that, I just eat the whole thing, bone, skin, everything. We're gonna take all of the leftovers right here. We're just gonna throw them in the fire, burn them up. That way we don't attract wildlife to our camp. Fish is definitely done. I'm just gonna pull this baby out. Ooh, look at that. Oh man, that looks delicious. So we're just gonna do with the leftover uh, butter in there. We're gonna, oh wow. We're gonna throw in some chili, but it like imploded. I just touched it and boom it. What the, just, how, have you guys ever had that happen before? It imploded. That's insane. Weird. Oh, it looks fine. Now we got a couple of tortillas here and we're just gonna give those a little roast over the fire. Last we got an avocado. Nice slice down the middle. Man, that's a perfect, beautiful, perfect avocado. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. Very hot tortilla. No. A little bit of ash ain't never hurt no one. <laughs> We're just gonna sprinkle on just a little bit of cheese. And we are going to take a nice, generous piece of trout. Then on top of that, we are just going to throw a giant piece of avocado. Tell you what, we're gonna try one big fat piece of this fish without anything on it. <laughs> Dude, it's firm. It is firm and flavorful. I'm not kidding, it's got the texture of a salmon. Wow, whoa, I gotta try some with the skin. That's like some of the belly meat there. Belly meat with some fat skin, crispy skin. Let's see what that tastes like. Oh, oh, that might be one of the best trout I've ever had. This might, I mean, wow. <laughs> okay, let's dig in, let's dig in. Cheers, this one's for you guys. Mm. You know, it's crazy how a delicious, just mildly salted trout crisped up on the skin with some butter wrapped in a tortilla with creamy cheese and avocado makes a perfect flavor combination. I know a lot of you guys think I'm weird for throwing some cheese in there or doing the whole trout taco thing in the first place, but a lot of you have tried it. And uh, I think we're on to something. And I'm going to 
polish off this next delicious trout taco. Which end first? Fat end of the avocado first or thin end first? Wow, four giant pin bones all in that one bite. <laughs> they came in and attacked. That was the last wrath of the trout. All right, the last bite is for all of you guys that stuck around till the very end of this video. There's probably no better compliment that you guys can give me. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, drop a comment below. All you guys know, you'll always find me in the comment section. I love reading them. Uh, oh, I still got to eat the chili. So we're not 100% done yet, but we're going to enjoy this last bite together. Again, this one's for you. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, look at that. Take a look at this chili. Oh, <laughs> the chair just collapsed. <laughs> Dang. Oh, I pulled out one of the... Pulled out one of those guys. Okay. All right, fork not the best thing for chili. Not the best thing for chili, but we'll give it a shot anyways. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's good. Uh, there's almost 400, no, almost 500,000, almost half a million of you amazing people watching the videos. So I just want to say thank you guys from the bottom of my heart because I wouldn't be able to be out here doing um, what I love doing and sharing that with you um, if it weren't for you guys watching. So thank you. Now I'm going to grab a spoon, eat this pot of chili. <laughs> relax and stare at my wonderful piece of modern art that I built. <laughs> all right, we'll see all of you guys for the next one. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. I love you all. And uh, until then, you all know it, fish on baby.